I will start the video by explaining the college accommodation at Durham University. The second section covers the different types of private accommodation available in and around Durham. By the end of the video, Durham's transportation system and its food costs will be discussed. Living in Durham as a student for under £400 per month. Do you plan to study at Durham University? Looking for the cost of living as a student in the UK as an international student? Continue watching. This video provides an overview of typical living expenses for international students in Durham, including housing, food, and transportation. In particular, we give you some house hunting tips for finding cheap accommodation in Durham and saving money. Accommodation in Durham I will explain first the accommodation provided by Durham University before going through private housing. Durham University offers various accommodation for undergraduate and postgraduate students. The type of accommodation differs among the different colleges, as I am going to explain now. College accommodation for undergraduate students in one college, the accommodation may be entirely single, ensuite, self-catered, so there is no possibility of sharing a room or renting a catered room. As an alternative, another college may offer standard, catered accommodations and less ensuite space. The price of accommodation apparently differs. The cheapest option for undergraduate students starts from £5,526 for the residents with self-catering and can reach to £8,385 for residents including catering with single en-suite rooms. Note that the catering provided will be breakfast, lunch and dinner every day, for the duration of the undergraduate terms. In other words, the accommodation is from October until June, around 9 months, but catering is only available during the term dates. That means for an undergraduate student monthly accommodation costs start from £600 if using college accommodation. College accommodation for postgraduate students The accommodation for postgraduates is different. In particular, if you are joining Durham with your family, you won't be allocated to colleges rather than you could use alternative options provided by university as follows. The option for couples and families starts from £8,704 and can go up to £11,060 if you live in a flat with three rooms. All prices are for a year, from September to September. Nevertheless, there are some single standard room with shared bathroom facilities and single en-suite room available from £6,425. Private rented accommodation in Durham Given the prices of the university accommodation, I can tell you that you can privately rent a room, flat or house for much cheaper prices across the county of Durham with much lower prices. I am going to share with you some house hunting tips so that you pay even less for the prices I just mentioned. First of all, avoid student housing in the city of Durham which is very expensive and generally are in poor quality. Despite the bad quality of student housing, the cost of accommodation per week starts from £150. Living outside of the city centre and commuting daily seems like the obvious solution. Considering the low price of transportation, it might be the most cost-effective choice. Taking the housing market in December 2021 as an example, let's provide real numbers for you. In Gateshead, around 15 miles from Durham, you can rent a room in a house with multiple occupations, shared properties, for £200 per month. There is also the option of renting a room in a shared property in Sunderland for just £200 per month. In houghton le spring you can get a full house, semi-detached, or flat for just £300 a month if you relax your budget slightly. The cost of living in Chester le Street is lower than that in Durham. Rent starts at £350 for a one- to two-bedroom apartment. 
Chesterler Street is within 9 miles of Durham University. It takes only 30 minutes to get to Durham University by bus. If you drive, it takes only 15 minutes. You can rent a whole house or apartment in many other areas around Durham for around £350 per month including Spennymore and Crook, among many others. Foods For one person, grocery and food expenses are about £200 a month. But eating out in Durham is very cheap. For example, a nice dinner in a good restaurant can cost less than £10. This is also true of drinks and coffee in Durham. It isn't uncommon for a cup of coffee in Durham to cost a pound. Transportation Durham's main transportation provider is the Arriva Bus Company. Durham is known for being a university city, so finding a bus ticket at a discounted price is not surprising. The Arriva website states, university students and staff can travel all day, within Durham, for just one pound. Just show your valid Durham University campus card as you board to get your day ticket from the driver. This gives you unlimited travel in the Durham District Ticket Zone. Tickets are available to students and staff at Durham University. For staff, the zone ends at Barley Mow whilst students can carry on travelling up to Newcastle using the X12. It is even cheaper to buy a weekly pass for only £5. One term ticket, 15 weekly, is just £45 and a full academic year ticket is £120. Transportation, Train Durham Railway Station is connected to the National Rail of the UK. Similar to other parts of the UK, you can travel by train from Durham to anywhere in the country. Transportation, Airport Newcastle International Airport is the closest airport to Durham and offers both domestic and international flights. The airport offers non-stop flights to 28 different cities. Airlines such as British Airways, KLM, Air France, Emirates and Ryanair have flights to and from Newcastle Airport. Transportation, Ferry Due to Durham's close proximity to Newcastle, less than 30 minutes drive, there is also an option for getting to the Netherlands by ferry. DFDS operates a ferry to Amsterdam every day of the week. Summary it is possible to live a quality student life for £400 per month if you keep your food and other expenses low. You can therefore live as a single person for less than £400 per month, including food, housing, and rent, if you keep your budget in line. If you like this video, like it. Should you have any questions, please write them in the comments section below. We will make sure to attend to every question. If you want us to make a video about a particular topic, leave us a comment below. We will consider those in our future videos. Thank you again for watching.